While it is clear that our economy is still hurting, I see signs of hope. I'm convinced this fiscal policy helped cushion the blow and prevent a deeper recession. You know, losing one's home or losing one's job can be a horrible experience. To add insult to injury, when Utahns lose their jobs, their families often lose their health coverage. That's why I'm so pleased that one of the first actions in this Congress was to reauthorize and expand the state children's health insurance program. Forward, that caring for kids is the right thing to do, but um, and this successful program will now help even more low-income children. Working parents provide health insurance to their children, 10 million of them nationwide. You know, twice the previous White House blocked this action. So again, what a difference a year makes. <laughs> Equal opportunity and workplace fairness are important for Utah Democrats. I voted for and President Obama signed the Paycheck Fairness Act. It requires employers to show that wage gaps between men and women doing the same work are truly a result of factors other than gender. I also supported the bill that went through the House of Representatives, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, a bill to restore what a difference a year makes. Congress passed and the President signed a credit card holder's Bill of Rights. It seeks to end what the Federal Reserve has declared are unfair, deceptive, and anti-competitive practices that have become far too commonplace in the credit card industry. <laughs> Doing business in a fair and even had a manner, that's the American way. We all want the market to work better and to ensure that card issuers compete for customers on a more level playing field. And there's more. We passed the Edward Kennedy Serve America Act, tripling volunteer opportunities for national service and increasing college financial awards. We passed military procurement reform to crack down on Pentagon waste and cost overruns. We've increased funding for veterans' health care and helped military families harmed by the housing crisis. The House of Representatives has authorized grants that will put another 50,000 cops on the beat. And the House has approved the Green School Modernization Act to provide critical investments to renovate schools and improve the school's energy efficiency. And if I can take a second, I want to report progress on a couple of my personal priorities. Congress passed and the President signed a major collection of public lands bills that includes the Bipartisan Washington County Growth and Conservation Act. The logjam that prevented us from bringing stakeholders together to address the creation of wilderness in Utah has finally been broken. <laughs> and in its place, we have a new model of inclusion cooperation, and hopefully we'll see additional bills in the future. After many years of effort, we're now seeing yellow cars moving up the tracks, carrying the first loads of radioactive tailings away from the banks of the Colorado River. <laughs> For 25 years of threatened Moab's health and safety, and the safety of millions of water users downstream. The Bush administration said it would take over 20 years to finish this project. We just heard an announcement the past month the Obama administration intends to accelerate this greatly. Again, what a difference a year makes. <laughs> we have 80 bipartisan co-sponsors who signed onto my bill to ban the ludicrous proposal to bring the world's radioactive waste to one of the few disposal sites we have for America's radioactive waste. I believe we will come out of the current circumstance and we will see better days ahead. However, with so many complicated and serious issues facing us, such as energy independence, 
and health care reform, we cannot meet these challenges with simplistic slogans or by parodying talk radio or cable news. I know that Utah Democrats are the party of good ideas, and we need to work harder than ever to put those good ideas to work on behalf of Utahns. This year, as in past years, we need to act in the best interest of the people who elect us. I've told you many times, I speak in front of lots of groups and say this, elections really matter. It matters who's in office. They make decisions that affect our lives in so many ways. And an important election is taking place here today. And that is why I'm supporting my friend, Wayne Holland, for Utah Democratic Party. Money and support our candidates, and it's not an easy job. There's no question that we live in a state where having a D after your name on the ballot, it could stand for Democrat, but it also could stand for being disadvantaged in the election. Uh, but Wayne has persevered, and you have persevered. In fact, we have all persevered, and we all understand that our long term success requires a long term deliberate effort. And giving folks the chance to see how we pursue a positive agenda that helps families to achieve their dreams in a better future. You know, I'm in this business for, for this purpose of serving the public, and for making progress and getting things done. And when I get an election, I get an election to win. That's what is the best part of the election. Utah Democrats don't get to experience that enough, but I'm here to tell you, winning is better than losing. <laughs> contributing to that success. You have helped me become a better candidate, and you've helped me become a better congressman. And my pledge to you is that I will always take that the role of being a hardworking candidate seriously in whatever I do. My pledge is that I want to see more Utah Democrats elected, and I pledge to do everything I can do to help make that happen. I said what a difference a year makes. Let's be committed to see how much more difference we can make in the next election. Thank you very much.